a Sunday evening. I'm here in my kitchen at home. Uh, some of my chef friends have been doing some cooking shows on online, something to do during this time. So I say, you know, I may as well do one as well. And I was thinking, what can I do first? So Florida, it's springtime here. In Florida, we'll start getting very hot pretty soon. So I thought about a nice, cool fruit salad that um, is good to eat when it's cold. You can eat it as a dessert. You can eat it as for something to cool down in the summertime or even in the hot springtime. Because here in my state, you know, in the springtime, it, it will reach 85, sometimes even 90. So let me get started, okay? First thing I'm gonna do, I'll make a salad dressing to put on the fruit salad. And I have here some avocado oil with lime in it. That's gonna pretty much be my base for the salad. Okay. Let me get a bowl. Alright, I'm gonna probably add about maybe, I don't know, half a cup. It's about a half a cup right there. Okay. And uh, I think I do a cup. Let's make it a cup. I got a lot of fruit here. Alright, and I'm going to add some half a side of vinegar. Maybe about a quarter of a cup. Plenty here, but it's a little bit too hard, so I'm gonna put it in a microwave to heat it up so it'll get nice and warm. It can mix in and it can pour real easy. Give it about 25 seconds. In the meantime, I'm gonna add some sea salt to taste. My taste. Okay, it's a fresh fried black pepper. Right over so you can see that better. Alright. And some dry mustard. Pick that from Publix. I think I'm gonna do the shaker. Have okay, more control. That's probably about maybe half a key. And let's see. Oh, look. No. I got some chia seeds. So I'm gonna add maybe about a, a teaspoon of that of chia seed. Okay. Now I'm gonna get the honey. So my honey is nice and runny now. So we're gonna mix in real easy. This is gonna be the quick dressing that I'm gonna coat the uh, fruit salad with once I get done cutting up everything. Now, let's see here. I'm gonna take my whisk and I'm gonna stir this together. But I really need to agitate it a little bit more to help everything to mystify and confuse together. So I'm gonna grab one of these shakers here. It's little tricks. When I'm not in my shop, I don't have uh -oh. I don't have everything at home with the ripping sometimes. So I improvise. Pour in one of these water bottles. Mix it up real well. Probably do it again right before I pour it on the salad. Okay. Now, the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to want to cut the mushrooms first because I want the mushrooms and the tomatoes to marinate in some of the salad dressing while I cut the fruit. If 
fruitiness in this still has to marinate, but you know, in order for these to um, get more tender, more flavor, and, and doesn't just don't get like a raw mushroom, we want them to marinate a little bit inside of the, uh, the dressing. So what I'm doing is I'm gonna cut off the skin. Something to do during quarantine time. Something different for you to see on your timeline, rather than all the some of the posts just talking about the quarantine so much. It's good to take a break from that sometime. So some other chef friends in mind, like I said, has also put some cooking demonstrations out there. You know, it's kind of a fun thing to do. to the mushrooms and tomatoes. That's all I need. Take my spatula, kind of toss it together, mix it together. All right. I'm saying, you put in mushrooms and tomatoes in a fruit salad? Of course I am. And what do you see the finished product? You're gonna to wanna to jump to the screen jump through the phone to get it. Okay, I'm gonna sit this to the side for a moment. Right. Move this phone over just a little bit like that so you can see the cut up a little bit more. Gonna wipe off the cutting board. All right, now, what am I gonna cut first? Okay, so my, I'm gonna do the mango first. I'm gonna kill the mango. Both ends standing up like this. And you just go down the side of it. Just like that, all the way around. Yeah. 
get my little utility knife here and I can just go right between just like that and you can just get the meat of each one of them. Each section of each one. See how you see those come out? Nice more sections. I'm gonna add right there to the mango. Those I did not cut. So I'm gonna cut them more a little bit. Okay, now I have oh I got a European cucumber. Now this, I really only need about half of it. And I'm going to take this and just pour it. You can fill it all the way if you like. But I like to leave some green on it. It's a nice color. You know, most of the vitamins and a lot of vegetables are right in the peel. So, just like that. Just cut right in half. grapes. Now, don't do like this in your hand unless you know what you're doing. But I'm just cutting right in half and putting them right in the bowl. I mean, if you, if you want to, you can cut it over and cut it more like this. But I'm at home now, so I can cheat a little bit. Getting all these 
right in here. Cooking is a fun thing to do. We call it culinary arts because it is an art. A lot of people can cook. My grandmother was, was a good cook. My dad was a good cook. My mom was a good cook. My siblings, most of them, over one, and she knows who she is, uh, <laughs> are a good cook. But, um, you know, culinary arts, we learn different cuisine, different ways to cook, uh, better presentation with it. There's some science behind food. You can do a lot of different things. I always try to tell young culinary students, students you know, when you first see a culinary student, you'll go over six months at different restaurants, different types of restaurants, so you can really hone in and find out what type of cooking you like to do and what area of the culinary field or profession you want to be in. Okay? Alright, so that's what I have so far. Got them all washed. Okay. That side. Cut off the end. Ever so slightly. You don't want to throw any strawberries. ahead of times you can make it up for the next day you know keep your fruit separated in separate containers until the next day you can you know you can leave your mushrooms marinated overnight but for the most part of the other fruit keep it separated and you kind of toss it together maybe an hour before you're ready to eat it okay um some nice plant city blackberries i think i'm gonna put Put half of those in there, and I'm gonna say the rest of them for my juices. Right. Now I have kiwi. Same concept when you're cutting this. There's so many different ways to kill a kiwi. You can actually do it with a spoon by cutting it in half and scooping it out. But I pretty much put them like grandma and call us, call us to peel potatoes. And just go around it just like this. Now again, if you're not experienced with using a knife, I don't recommend this. You can sit it back on the cutting board and go like this. And, or you can cut them in half and get a spoon and scoop them out. For some reason, I have to throw this method. This is one of my favorite fruits. It's a, it's a superfood as well. Exotic superfood.
this is just going to cut it out. And then cut these half and quarters. And you can just rough chop them. Just like that. Just kidding. <laughs> Add those. Determine I want to go ahead and use the rest of my orange. I'm probably going to do some more of these um, over the course of the next couple of weeks, just for fun. And of course, I obviously 
see we have a lot now in quarantine. Not a whole lot of business going on right now, but we're okay. We're going to survive. We'll be there for you when this is over. Yes, just cut any other services. And um, I just pray that, pray for our president, pray for our house, pray for our district branch, and all those who are in the hospitals as well, the nursing home, the doctors, nurses, even the people that keep the hospital clean. You don't see those, but those sanitation people and janitors that keep that place clean, you know, they've done a lot of hard work as well. I pray for my my colleagues in catering business and hospitality industry and the restaurant is industry that we are able to sustain so when this is over we can actually go back to work and um, provide good food cuisine you know bring our staff back in so um, so i just pray in the name of jesus that this uh, covid 10 is over real quickly and i ask you guys to keep president trump in prayer and also the rest of the people that's working around him like Pence and some of the experts as well. And, um, you know, and just take the whole three branches of the government because our country needs it. All right? God bless you. Lord, appreciate it.